Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode of First 15 here on Pastiche of Skin. Can you tell what it is yet? It's Riptide GP2, or Riptide 2 GP, or Riptide GP, whatever, I don't know. It's a racing game. Yes, this is another racing game. Uh, I've kind of gotten the mood for playing through them after actually playing through that uh, RC racer a wee while back. And this one has the same nostalgic feels that I had for that previous one. It's, this is Wave Race, man. Look at it. It's Wave Race. With a little bit of Wipeout, with a little bit of Extreme G. It's, it's F-Zero even, but it's all water. <laughs> Look at it. Oh, man. You know what? It's one of those weird things when you think that, what, Wave Race was innovative at its time for having really impressive water physics where they actually, like, the channels of water and the way it flowed and bumped around and knocked you off was dynamically made as you're playing through it. While in this, it's actually pretty much used in a what looks like to be a mobile tablet port to console. <laughs> the processing power that we have these days is almost offensive. But yeah, this is um, a jet ski racing or jet rocket bike racing game that. I, I got for cheap because it's not a it's, it's a long run game it's been around for a while but um I never sat down to think to play it it was just one of those games that wasn't really on my wheelhouse and view until it was down for like a really really cheap price so there was no reason for me not to try it now and I've had a really good time playing it now the controls feel a bit sluggish they it does feel like they really are translated from a tablet where you're tilting it to get the controls and movement and it doesn't seem to really kind of correspond <laughs> quite so well especially whenever you're trying to use the tricks that I just did there now but the um, the stunt system in this uh, the boost the actual racing this is just a solid little racer there's no there's no real uh, there's nothing elaborate to go about it there's just a uh, Either there's hot lap racing, which is doing the fastest lap you possibly can to get underneath a certain score. There is the standard races with um, slightly modified routes that you can take, like you could see there where I could have actually taken the high road or low road. There is, um, I think there's a stunt game or stunt missions in this where you actually are trying to get the most amount of um, tricks uh, or a chain of tricks before you crash. I think I did that in one of the earlier ones. The, the scoring system in this is grand it's it feels like you're playing through a league game where you have a stars counting for third second and first like any uh, kart racer or like the sonic all-stars transform which will make you go back and do levels again now you do have a leveling system in this that uh, applies to what tricks you can actually use so whenever you level up you get skill points which can be then spent on a more elaborate trick uh, which is then of course uh, attached to one of your uh, button combinations so you can see me going through a few of them here and just checking them out trying to find one they probably give me the most boost while also um, give me the highest chance of pulling it off <laughs> without actually uh, wrecking myself every single time I use it the double forward and double backflip I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna need massive air for so yeah I end up going for the rock star because you know what that's what I am hey you you're a rock star Get the game on. Oh, yeah. Hey, now. You're a rock star. Get the stunt on. Yeah. Sorry. Didn't really need to do that, did I? So, uh, the other things you can do in the game are as well are, of course, upgrade your vehicle, buy new vehicles, and um, modify them so that you're going to be competitive in the higher levels of the competitions. I did find, after maybe the first four or five, you do kind of get to the point where you're going to need to upgrade your vehicle but you're also going to notice that upgrades don't do that much for your vehicle compared to buying a new one so you might want to save the money there's also a customization system for the vehicle and the rider so you can actually change the color of your rider's uh, suit as you can see i'm choosing my delightful hot pink and purple color scheme because if you're going to be in the water make sure you can be seen that is the most important thing if you're going to be out there girl Make sure you got your colors on. So yeah, I did some uh, advanced changing on this. So it, it, not just is it actually like changing the scheme, there's actually an advanced color scheme change so you can actually do a little bit more of the decals on the costume. It's really nice to see this, even though it's completely unnecessary and it just adds a vestigial kind of like customization feature to the game. 
but it's it's a color wheel that's there and works and I I never think about customization in racing games quite as much but it's nice to have especially because this is a couch co-op game you can play this game with your friends it is there to be played multiplayer on split screen either two or four so holy crap it's really really nice to see that in a racing game we, we don't see that unless it's actually in the eponymous kart racer that we always think about whenever we think of couch co-op now the levels themselves look well designed they obviously take inspiration from wipeout style levels where they're suspended over uh, i always wonder how they're keeping the water in the channels of some of these kind of like arenas the um the maps are they're not they're not too challenging in the earliest level but they will make you learn how to break and control and uh, take an angle of entry which is really impressive which also is um affected by the the waves and the speed that you hit the waves in the um the straightaways of the game which means that you can bypass corners or launch yourself completely into position that you no matter what you're going to crash it's kind of impressive that the the levels have that same kind of mo mo motility i think it's actually the word i'm trying to find for it that you can move around them in the order and the way that you need to but there is something that will change from lap to lap or will change mattering on the speed that you're going through on the lap which i found uh, really similar to wave race whenever you're racing there was like an optimal angle and timing that sometimes coming through a section too fast meant that you missed the opportunity to take a nice big wave that would throw you over the top of your opponent so you would actually control your racing pace throughout the level whenever you go from uh, lap to lap or <laughs> of course you do what i do and crash and send your vehicle flying across the line to score your point it's effective, it works, it's the same as trials, you can actually like send your vehicle through. In fact, there's an achievement for doing it, which I completely accidentally got. Now, there's actually VR challenges, which are the ability to record your ghost on certain tracks from the game for your teammates and your friends to actually compete on, which is great. I mean, you can record them in, say, a two-player, three-player, four-player as well, but it's designed to actually kind of have remote play so that you can always play against your friends and their own favorite laps. And, of course, like I said, there is multiplayer co-op or not co-op multiplayer couch playability in this game it's crazy how much there actually is in such a small game i honestly think it's actually a decent purchase if you can get it for the right price now highly recommend it guys this has been riptide gp2 i felt like i've had a bit of fun with this i'm going to go back and play it a little bit more very soon so i hope you guys have actually enjoyed my little description of the game and i will see you all in the next episode so remember i love you you love me remember to like comment subscribe and all those other things and i will see you all in the next episode mm, Bye bye